Hello everybody and welcome to this edition of our question and answer session. I'm your teacher, Ocean, and today we are going to be answering some questions about natural disaster. So if you are ready, let's start. Question 1 says, what is a natural disaster? What is a natural disaster? Option A says, any event caused by nature. B says, any event caused by human activities. C says, an event caused by nature that results in great damage and death. And D says, an event caused by human activities that results in great damage and death. So question one more time. What is a natural disaster? So the correct answer here is an event caused by, nat by nature that results in great damage and death. Good. Question 2 says, which of the following is not a natural disaster? Which of the following is not a natural disaster? Option A says volcanic eruptions. Option B says flood. Option C says oil spill and option D says earthquake. So, which of the following is not a natural disaster? So, the correct answer here is C, oil spill. Very good. Question 3. Question 3 says that Chan prepares three setups as shown below. Then he passes equal amount of water through each setup. Now the question is asking which of the following is correct. But before we get to the answer, there are hints for you. Hint number one says, the water collected in nest contains the most amount of soil. Hint number two says, roots of plants prevent the soil from being washed away by water. Hint number three says dead leaves are more effective at preventing soil erosion than live plants. And the last one says the water collected in nest contains the least amount of soil. So men looking at this now, you have this option A, B, C, and D. So looking at this here, the correct answer here is D. So this says, roots of the plants prevent the soil from being washed away by water and then that the water collected in nests contains the least amount of soil. Very good. So question 4 says, the process shown is caused by dash. It says, the earth crust pieces moving past each other or B, that the soil being washed into the sea. Or C says that waves hitting the rock along the coast. And D says rock, liquid rock flowing out of the crack in the earth crust. So the process shown is caused by, the correct answer is C, waves hitting the rocks along the coast. Good job. Question five. Question 5 says abrasion. Abrasion occurs when dash. Now what is abrasion? Abrasion is one of the causes of coastal erosion. All right. So it says abrasion occurs when dash. A. Pebbles hit each other and become smaller and smoother. B says the force of water hits and erodes a coast. C says acidic water erodes a coast and D says waves carrying rock pieces and throw them against a coast. So one more time, abrasion occurs when the correct answer? The correct answer is D. Abrasion occurs when waves carry rock pieces and throw them against a coast. Very good. Question 6. Question 6 says that Town P is built beside a river and then a large area of the forest beside Town P is cleared to build roads. And now the question is asking which of these is not likely to occur? A. Earthquake 
be flood see landslide and the mud slide so the question one more time town p is built beside a river and a large area of the forest beside town p is cleared to build roads which of these is not likely to occur the correct answer is c landslide question seven the following are processes that lead to the formation of tsunami. So now the question says that we should arrange this process in correct order. Hint number one says large volumes of water move upwards. Hint two says large waves move across the ocean. Hint number three says that earth cross pieces move. And the hint number four says the sizes of waves increases or increase as they reach the shore. So the question says arrange this in a correct order. So we have this. Now looking at this now, the following are processes that lead to the formation of tsunami. Arrange these processes in order. So the first one should be the earth cross pieces move and then the large volumes of water will move upwards and then large waves move across the ocean then the sizes of waves increase as they read the shot. So the correct answer here is B. Good. Question 8. Mina notices some structures on the slope as shown in the photo below. So this helps to reduce the effect of what? Nina notices some structures on the slope as shown in the photo below. This helps to reduce the effect of dash. A. Organic eruption. B. Flood. C. Landslide. Or D. Tsunami. So on the picture there is a metal mesh. And a metal mesh is installed on the hill to help prevent landslide. So Nina notices these structures on the slope as shown the photo below so this only helps to reduce the effect of landslide question 9 which of the following does not cause landslide which of the following does not cause landslide a mining b heavy rains c reforestation or d volcanic eruption so question 9 one more time which of the following does not cause landslide a mining b heavy rains C. Reforestation or the volcanic eruption. So the correct answer to this is reforestation. Question 10 says identify the structures shown below. A. Base isolators. B. Walls made of strong flexible materials. C. D. C. Wall. So identify the structure below. This is Question 11 says, what should you do to stay safe during natural disaster? Choose two correct answers. So, option A says, stay close to a survival kit. Option B says, go close to four lines. Option C says, seek shelter in a safer area. And option D says, stand near tall structures. So, the correct answer to this, what should you do to stay safe during natural disaster? The first answer is you have to stay close to a survival kit and then seek shelter in a safe area. Question 12 says, what should you do when you know that tsunami is approaching? What should you do when you know that tsunami is approaching? So choose two correct answer. Option A says go to the nearest shore where tsunami wave is the weakest. Option B says take all your toils and move to a higher ground. Option C says leave unimportant belongings behind and move to a higher ground. And option D says turn on the radio to listen for instructions from the local authority. So what should you do? Very good. Question 11 says what should you do to stay safe during natural disaster? Choose two correct answers. So, Option A says, stay close to a survival kit. Option B says, go close to power lines. 
Option C says seek shelter in a safer area. And option D says stand near dark structure. So the correct answer to this, what should you do to stay safe during natural disaster? The first answer is you have to stay close to a survival kit and then seek shelter in a safe area. Question 12 says, what should you do when you know that tsunami is approaching? What should you do when you know that tsunami is approaching? So, choose two correct answer. Option A says, go to the nearest shore where tsunami wave is the weakest. Option B says, take all your toils and move to a higher ground. Option C says, leave unimportant belongings behind and move to a higher ground. And option D says, turn on the radio to listen for instructions from the local authority. So, what should you do when you know that tsunami is approaching? The two correct answers here are, leave unimportant belongings behind and move to a higher ground, and then turn on the radio to listen for instructions from the local authorities. Alright, so that's the end of this, and I hope to see you next time.